All right. Welcome back, you beautiful people. I am here at Seattle, the land of dreams. This place is incredible. Now, you've probably seen a number of tech videos of this place, but this is my take on tech. I'm going to look at technology that carries your technology around. Bike racks, van life, and all that rad jazz. This is my take on tech at Sea Otter. You ready, Joey? Because, dude, I'm excited, man. First stop, Winnebago's. It's a brand that takes other vans and sticks their mark on it. Some sort of like overlanding thing. Now, I'm here because I'm gonna get some inspiration for my van build. If you haven't seen it, I'm doing a little series on how to build a van. Well, I'm building my own, the ultimate mountain biking van. But look at this, I love the color. I feel like my van should be this color. It's a four wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter. It's uh, very unique, I love what they've done. It's cool, I like it. Very, look at that control panel. Oh, I've got these switches. But this is basically telling you your solar panel with the power you've got in your van and stuff like this. You've got your bed. The bed is quite unique actually because my one's just one big bulkhead and it's welded into the van. This one, it depends on, you can have it at whatever height you want. It goes up or down, which is pretty cool because you can stick a motorbike in there if you want to with a front wheel here. Quite like it. Swivel chairs. One thing I haven't done in my van. But the one thing I've seen here at Sea Otter and in the States is that the van life community is massive. So these things are quite desirable to the outdoor folk out here and also mountain bikers. There's a lot more of these. Let's go and find some more. And how to transport your technology, your mountain bike. I'm just gonna look at some bike racks because there are some cool ones here. Let me reveal what's in the back. Get it? This is the Winnebago reveal model. It's uh, I feel like it's one that you could live in for quite a long time. Look at that. You got your water here. See my one, I got my boilers over there, but look at all that. It's incredible. Big zip down thing. I've actually got a bulkhead here, so you don't really see out the back, which is okay. I'm fine with that. But one thing that I do like, and especially if you're a tall person, because you sleep in this way in the van, and if you're a six foot kind of guy, you're not gonna sleep that way, are you? But this is the answer to that situation. Now, if you're a six foot dude, you can sleep width ways in a van. I like this. Hook up, I got one of them. I don't have that. That is the dream. Anyway. Enough of this reveal. Let's go reveal more items. Down here. Holy moly. Look at the size of this ginormous truck. I'm a big truck fan, right? So you've got Fab 4 all round, belly pan, the massive bumper on the front. It's running on 20 inch rims, right? Black Rhino with uh, 38. That's a 38 inch tire. Look at the size of it. Look at uh, The only thing is, right, my short ass can't get those bikes up there on those one-up racks is why I'm here. One-up racks is my first stop at bike racks that can carry your technology around to the trails wherever, go on holiday. Look at this, this is their brand new one. And uh, it's got this little button here, the other one you have to hold it up. See, you hold the button, you can go like this, you can adjust it. So your rear wheels are ready in there. I'll show you a bike in there. But you've got this little, little rail inside here, so you can carry road bikes. It's not just for mountain bikes. You can carry your road bikes, your gravel bikes, and everything like that. And it's all al aluminum or aluminum. It's powder coated and everything, and it's just well machined. I love it. But you can see this little bit here is for all shapes and sizes of tires. Let's talk about tires, right? Fat bikes, I'm a fan of fat bikes. And you can carry your fat bike. Now you can carry up to four bikes on the system. Okay, four bikes. So that must be sticking out like right over here, which is nuts. And you can carry your, your kids' bikes and your wife's bikes or all your mates' bikes. Look at that, fat bike fits in there. I'm actually a big fan of 1UP. I've been a fan of them for ages, so I just can't get them in the UK. But look at this, I am a fan of that. I'm not a fan of trying to get that bike off the rack though. That's a bit high, isn't it? bit high. Look at that fappens. 
beautiful. But you can carry your cooler box. It's just modular. Come look. So it comes with this tray as well. So you can have that into your receiver at the back. You got the rack uh, attached, which is basically a swing out item that you can swing out if you've got a tailgate and you want to get into the back or carry your toolbox or your cooler box plus a bike, plus a bike. But if you have a small car, right, this is all, it can move out the way, it can drop down so you can get into a tailgate without taking all your bikes off because I've been there and I had to take off bikes to get into the back of my Jeep. Hence why I started to build my own bike rack, North Shore rack. Talk about North Shore racks, right? Let's go find some of them because I've seen a few. Wow, look at this bit of kit, e-bike, e-bike services. It's like a mechanic on wheels. I like it. Across the pond in Germany, this is Ries and Muller. It's a, a product that carries children. As I can see, the configuration in here is uh, for two children. This is the Load 60. You get two different sizes in this, but I've actually stopped here because I am super interested in this. I've just had another child, two boys now. Now imagine taking them to school in this rig. I think they'll be the envy of the school, right? You got two seats in here, but you could have three, like I said, on the bigger one. But you can have them sat up like this, put your feet in there, or in the reclined position. Look at that, they're super chilling. You got this, it's waterproof, carry your kids, but you don't have to have kids in here. You can have this as a big lock-up box or just a cargo space. Uh, it's a thousand watt amp batteries in this thing. It's an e-bike. You can have it as a, um, a belt drive, so there's a hub motor, which could be different if you don't like gears and all that rad jazz. But look at it, look at it. I love it. Carrying the kids in here, heckling, telling them to shut up, and they all go, they go to sleep. I like it. And it's green. I like green. Nice. It's like carrying the future technology, which is your kids, right? It's the future. They're not technology, though. They're, they're actually humans. Oh my, v Van, do it. Van, do it really well. Look at the stay of this thing. <gasps> it's a Ford Transit. I'm building a Ford Transit. Van series. Look at this. It's, com it's completely modular. It's completely modular. Extrusion or T section, it's, it's aluminum or aluminium if you're from the UK. Look at this, no cabinets. It's all perspex, you can actually see every single bit in there. That's what I really wanted to do in the back of my garage, but I was scared I was gonna rip the wires out of the thing. But look at it, look at it. You got your master voltage system there, you got your huge wires in there. You got your boiler here, you got your control system, you got your bed, and actually you can see you got some uh, some hinges here. So I'm guessing that just folds down into a bed, so like a rock and roll sort of system. And but this can just comes all out. So you just buy a van and you can bolt this all into your van. You can take bits out if you don't want to use it. I really like this. Look at that. So you've got double bunks. Oh, oh. Lum luminous bumpers, front and rear. That's off-road rigs right there. That, I need that because I would probably reverse into stuff, man, like I did up the top there. No way. It's not just me. It's not just, and there's a camera. So Andy, the guy who's on the stand, he did that into his hotel. And I was like, dude, I've got the same dent in my van. Bought it back, reversed it into my house. Right, stepping back, right? So you can sleep three in, there's a double up top, single down the bottom. I guess I can turn into a double as well, because there's some hinges on it, so it looks like I can turn into a double. But look up the top. You got a roof nest, clamshell sort of system, rooftop tent. Now that's the penthouse suite to the whole van, man. I would love that up on the top, but I have got like a solar system that's going up there, so it might block it. But you could put it on top of the tent, couldn't you? I love that. And it's their own roof rack as well. They got a toilet in there, they've got everything, porta potty, cooking facilities. I'm looking forward to finishing my van. Right, moving on, let's go find some more. Oh, sack throwing. Oh, shocking. Shocking it was. Oh my goodness me. Toyota Supra. Put a bike rack on that. It'd be the fastest 
bike carrying machine ever. But I bet there's faster ones. Oh, pack mule. Very modular, carry everything, stick stairs in it, fishing rods, chuck your bikes in it, your tent, your swag if you're in Australia. I like it, I like it. Aluminum's lightweight. But 42 pounds that. That's not the cost of it, that's the weight of it, that is lightweight. But this is why I am here. Look at this. Hiya. Oh, this is hitch fire. This is a, a bry. A bry? You know what a bry is? A bry is a barbecue. A barbecue on the back of your bike. Attached to the tow hitch of your car. Just swings out. You've got your kitchen in the back of your tailgate. And then this. I like this. Really nice on the back of the van. Imagine that. No stinky smells in the van. You just do it outside. Stinky smells goes away. Oh man. Rooftop tents. I am a big fan of the rooftop tent, but I am here because of Yakima. Yakima do some incredible racks. But I am here specifically for this one. This is called the Hang Tight, right? Hang Tight is your vertical mount. It takes four bikes, but you can, it's mounted with your bars here. So you can take your gravel bikes, your road bikes, your mountain bikes, your hardtails, whatever. I love this thing, but you can't really get this in the UK where well, at the time I couldn't get one. So I built my own from inspiration from that North Shore rack system that you get in Canada. It's the best way to carry a bike because it looks the coolest on the road and you means, it means you mean business, right? But Yakima do lots of things, right? Lots of things. Adventure, carrying your technology with technology on the back of your technology. It's all about technology, right? Right, Joey? Right, yeah? Rooftop tents, love it. It's like the penthouse suite to the trail. That is what that is up there. But it's got loads. You've got this over here, boiling hot outside. Your bike's on the back of your rig. You've got this to shade yourself. You've got that to sleep in. You've got your rig. I love it. I love, I love the technology that goes into carrying your mountain bikes, your pride and joys to the trails. Be it if it's like chucking it into the back of your car, put it on a tow hitch, put it on the roof, like that one over there, wherever. I love it. Van life, everything about mountain biking is amazing. Anyway, I'm rambling on, I'm hungry, it's hot, and this has been my take on technology at Sea Otter. Bike racks, barbecues, everything. Talk about barbecue. Joey, I'm hungry. Should we go get some food? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. See ya.